welcome back to my channel. I just bought a new guitar and I wanted to make a video uh, showcasing this guitar and why I bought it and uh, all of the details. So uh, without further ado, this is the guitar. This is a Fender uh, Duosonic uh, in a beautiful, uh, I think they, they call it desert gold uh, finish. And let's hear how it sounds. I bought this guitar a few days ago, I spent a few hours with it uh, and it's, it sounds to my ears at least uh, really good. Let's talk a bit about the, the features of the guitar. It's a, it's a short scale guitar so that means uh, the frets are a bit shorter than uh, a Strat or a, or a Les Paul uh, even. And the, it's really interesting the combination of the, uh, the two single coil pickups and I think uh, Apart from uh, the Jaguar or the Jazzmaster, I think this is the only Fender that uh, has the, the bridge uh, pickup uh, straight uh, next to the bridge instead of being tilted, and then the opposite goes to the uh, the neck pickup, which creates some more um, dynamic range, I think, in my opinion. Especially the neck, which uh, it's on the on the treble uh, on the high notes is more towards the treble side and then when you go on the, the lower uh, strings it's more on the bass here so you have that uh, roundness of the, uh, the instrument so the, the neck pickup doesn't sound necessarily as a strat but I think it sounds really close to uh, how a strat would sound so the neck pickup is, is sweet and warm uh, and sounds something like that Uh, the two pickups together sound something like that. To my ears that sounds uh, in something in between the, the two and four position on, on a strat and then the middle pickup the middle position on, on a tele so essentially that that kind of uh, sound but not necessarily uh, exactly that so I think it's really unique uh, on its own and then the bridge uh, sounds something like that it's more punchy and more has some some bite to it <laughs> The whole guitar resonates really well and the, the strings are going through the body uh, as you can see here. The bridge itself uh, it's uh, just a hard tail, it's nothing special, nothing crazy but I think the uh, having the individual saddles it's, it makes sense and I think it's an upgrade from the, the vintage um, Duosonics where they had the almost a Telecaster bridge where you had like three saddles and then you can uh, change uh, two strings at a time. And then the switch uh, it's really really uh, Feels, feels really solid and feels like it will never break on you. Uh, same with the pots, they feel like they have a lot of range so you can go from really loud halfway
and then the tone is well the same. All the way up to... Let's hear one more clip. The reason why I bought this guitar, uh, first of all, uh, this is a present from my mother, so uh, I didn't actually buy this guitar, my uh, mother uh, gift this guitar to me, which um, I'm really grateful and uh, it's it's a really nice gift uh, to get uh, as a guitar, it's always a nice gift. I think this is the first guitar I've ever received as a gift, but nonetheless, I think buying a new guitar or getting a new guitar, uh, it can really uh, help you uh, in the long run as a player. Uh, if you if you have one guitar and you play that guitar all the time, it's good that you uh, can create a bond with an instrument like that. But having uh, challenge yourself essentially uh, with something different than you what you've uh, played before. So for me, an offset like a short scale offset with. Uh, two single coils and that configuration never, I never had this guitar before and I think it pushes me out of my comfort zone to explore new sounds and to uh, see what I can do with uh, an instrument that I, I was never comfortable with uh, in the first place and uh, the, the nature of the instrument it's when, when it sits down to you to your lap everything feels at least to me everything feels more to the uh, the left uh, compared to a Les Paul or a Strat that I've played uh, so many years now so it's a good way to get out, out of your comfort zone and try new things and try to figure out uh, if you can make it work and if you can figure out new sounds that you never thought you could uh, make uh, from your playing. The reason why I like this guitar is because uh, it's super light, super lightweight and it feels really uh, good when you hold it. it. It feels like you can do everything you want uh, with it. it the, the neck is not too thick and not too thin. It's uh, it's really comfortable, the C-shaped uh, neck, uh, and the short scale feels, for me, it feels really good because my, my fingers are not that big, so for me it's yeah, really easy to even play on the, the highest uh, fret, uh, which some of you might not be able to do because you might have 
bigger fingers than me. One of the main reasons I, I bought this guitar, uh, it's the, the color and I love staring at this guitar. This uh, I don't know if about you, but I, I love how it looks and that's the only reason I uh, chose this one instead of uh, something else. It's because of its look and I love the white and the gold and the, the blonde finish as well. And also you have to love the Fender logo as well, which uh, obviously uh, everybody does. Uh, the, one of the reasons I love this guitar is about that neck pickup. It's it's really punchy and it, like, if you go really hard on it, it will give you that. But if you go really uh, smooth and really uh, slow, it will give you that as well. It's really well balanced. So yeah, that's my Duosonic. Uh, it doesn't have a name yet, so if you have a suggestion uh, on how I should name this guitar, make sure to drop a comment below. Uh, i love to hear what you think. Uh, I think I'm gonna go for a little beast because uh, this is what it is, isn't it? It's a, a little beast uh, that it's a small, smaller body, smaller guitar, uh, but it still has that, uh, that beast, beast uh, sound to it, the beast tone, I guess. Uh, so yeah, let me know if you have any other recommendations in the comments below. Uh, thank you for uh, sticking this far to the video and I uh, hope you enjoy my content. And uh, if you have any other recommendations about the content uh, you want me to make, make sure to drop them in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe. I will see you in the next one.